Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Crafty Jackie. Hi there, we have an opening soon for a new farmhand laborer on our farm here in Yelm. Details of our needs and what is offered. Responsibilities are all labor related from fencing, digging, building, animals, etc. Experience isn't required, but it is mandatory for hard work ethic and initiative. 50 acre startup farm with more animals ramping up this year. Animals include cows, goats, chickens, dogs, cats, horses, and more to come. We're a quiet family with one child and a lot of animals. No indoor pets. We recently purchased this farm, so there's a lot of updating, changing, and creating that will be happening. We would prefer someone that is available to live here on the property. You will have a studio apartment to live in that has its own entrance, kitchen, bathroom and shower, washer, dryer, hookup. Studio apartment is attached to our home. Preferred no pets. If you are proven to be hardworking, you're able to trade your labor on the farm for rent. Responsibilities are flexible to be completed around your work schedule and or on weekends. Work is part time at around 50 hours a month. Background check will be required. 1099 employee. No drugs or partying on the property. We will treat you with the utmost respect as long as you do the same. Rental lease will be required. Security deposit will be required. If you are interested and believe you can meet the requirements listed above, please message me directly so that my family can review. Please explain your work experience and life situation as well as why you feel you'd be the best for this opportunity. As a reminder, this is a labor intense job. I look forward to speaking to y'all more. I'm not even sure if this is a good or a bad deal, considering I don't know how much work or labor these people are actually going to have someone perform, but then saying that they can be performed around someone's work schedule or things like that, that's fine and dandy and all, but are they ever going to have any time to rest? This next one is by Tay102085. Other than the small tear, is there anything else wrong with it? Stains, tears, pet hair, broken parts, etc. It could use a good clean. It's 12 years old. The ottoman doesn't stay open on its own, but that can be fixed with nuts and bolts. I promise, it's not haunted. It looks much better in person than it does in the photos. I do have a dog, so I would definitely get it cleaned if you have allergy issues. He hasn't chewed on it or anything. I'm in American Forks, so the main concern is gas. Also, my wife has pet allergies, so I'd probably need to go get it cleaned first. For 20 bucks, I'd come take it off your hands. Given the situation, you should probably look for another couch. Thanks, though. Apparently, this beggar doesn't read? I mean, they're offering to clean the couch if they have allergies to pets, in this case the beggar's wife does, but they're trying to use getting the couch cleaned as a way to try to lowball this couch probably even further than it already is. This next one is from Garden ZZ. I offered free seed kits publicly and someone wrote, Only if they're not GMO, send them to me. Not only are the seeds to the public, in the USA, not GMO, my email was also posted right there with instructions on how to get them. Sorry, just a rant. I don't think this person actually wants to grow it. I made these with the intentions of helping people who were anxious about where their food would come from this year. Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars sure try to be choosy. The fact that you're trying to do a good thing, great, but the beggars, not so great. This next one is by Pumpkin Juice YT. Hey, can you edit two things into one clip? I want to see your skills. Like, edit two things. Sure. And put same song and effects. I mean, I still charge, but sure, I'll do it. Those clips, they're short. I want to just see the skills before I buy. How much to edit a one minute clip? How much? 15. At Moist Carpet VA. I bet. I just want to see your skills first. So, I still ask for payment. <laughs> Bruh, come on bro, it's my first time. Huh? FIWB. 
I'm reporting you. Bruh, for what? What does this mean? Fuck with your boy. It basically means mess with me. Like, if you do some for me, I'll do some for you. Um, no? Bruh. <laughs> mm. I'll send some ref. Ref? Sends link. Work I've done equal ref. Sends another link. Want to see one of my edits? Sure. An edit for an edit? I want a real life edit. Put I can give you an anime edit. It's 14 seconds. I don't know how to make like. Sends link. But anime ones is my specialty. I'm good. I need money my guy. RIP. Facepalm. I like how they tried to pull the an edit for an edit BS trying to get something for free while giving absolutely nothing because you know the edit they'd show it probably isn't even something they made. This next one is from Sabby Cat. Insert job. Live in nanny in exchange for rent free housing. I have a detached one bedroom suite with a walk-in closet and full bath that I'm willing to allow for a nanny to live in free of charge in exchange for childcare services. PM me for details. Thank you. Define what kind of childcare services you're seeking. Are you seeking somebody to watch your child sun up to sun down all days a week? Any time off for them or, or what? The fact that none of that is listed has me slightly concerned for whoever PMs you. This next one is by BB Bark. It's March 1st and everyone knows what that means. It's my birthday month. Now accepting the following. Flower deliveries, edible arrangements, no bananas, M&M cookies and chocolate milk from Tiff's Treats, massage gift certificates, Venmo it here, mine was hacked, cash app is here, or just happy birthday messages. Your birthday is one day out of the whole month. It may be your birthday month, but people don't need to celebrate it and you don't need to celebrate it month long. However, I will give you kudos at the end for saying or just happy birthday messages. And I really hope you genuinely meant that. This next one is from Repulsive Menu 420. Yep, we're still giving things in twos. Here's $2 to Dunkin' Donuts in the T-Mobile Tuesdays app. Excited face holding a donut and coffee. That's the only thing you give. Other things are just pure BS. You need to step it up or cancel and stop doing that. Well, here's the thing, beggar. I'm sure more people are happy about that than the people that are unhappy about that. So I'm sure they're going to cater to the masses rather than cater to the few. And our final one is by Zesty Clothes String 2555. Hello, is this blue? Sorry if I spelled incorrectly. It's blue, yes. I assume you own the blue car? The Mustang, yes. I appreciate you and respect your honesty. There are not many people like you. I just sent a picture to my mechanic and car guy to see the cost and he said around 170 bucks to fix or we could just turn it into insurance, which I would rather not do for something so little, but it's up to you. If so, I have Cash App or Apple Pay, and we will just handle it like that as two honest people. Sure, of course. You're welcome. I'm so sorry about what happened. Our car hit ice. $170 is perfect. I can pay you no problem. Cash App will work fine. Can you, just for my sake, send me a picture of your car or something on your car proving it's yours? A title or something? I want to make sure you aren't a random person who picked up the piece of paper under the windshield, you know? Ideally something showing or proving it's yours. I'm not sure exactly what that would mean. I'm not saying that I don't trust you, but I also know that piece of paper was plainly visible so any random person could have picked it up and then asked me for money. It could be even a video of you unlocking or opening your car and showing me it all. If you're okay with doing that. Then I can happily pay you via Cash App. <laughs> I appreciate that. I've been hit before and no one's stopped, so I appreciate that. I'm about to park in the parking lot. I'll take a picture now. Sends pic. Sent you one from the garage. Do you mind sending a quick video of you unlocking and opening the car? Anyone could take a picture of the car, you know? If you're the owner, you'll have the keys. Sends pic. I just sent you a current picture of it in the Target parking lot on here. 
That's not a Mustang. You said it was a Mustang before. That's a Subaru, which is exactly what I thought it was. Wait, what? With all due respect and not trying to insinuate anything, but you're basically calling me a liar, and for some reason they wrote that down. Since pick. Hello, is this blue? Sorry if spelled incorrectly. It's blue, I assume you own the blue car? The Mustang? Yes, I appreciate you and the respect for your honesty. There are not many people like you. And for some reason I wrote that down. You said the Mustang, but that's a Subaru. You said it's a Mustang, but you sent me a picture of a Subaru. Listen, if you're the owner, then you can send me a video of you unlocking and opening the car, and you should be willing to, if we're honest people here. Like I said, I'll happily pay you if you do that. If you were the owner of the car, you'd know it's a Subaru and not a Mustang. I'm not calling you a liar, I'm asking you to verify that you aren't some random person who picked up the piece of paper. Look, if you're trying to get out of the paying part by calling me a liar and sending me pictures, I know what I said. Accidentally switched the two up. I also own a Mustang, my. We can just turn it into an insurance plan. Claim. I just told you that I'm happy to pay. Why can't you send me a video? Would you like to do a phone call to discuss? I'm happy to do that. Yes, I will send a video. I'm driving. I have no problem paying, once I know you're the owner of the car, that's a perfectly reasonable ask. Let me be clear, if you prove to me you're the owner, I'll pay you and this is over. This should be a very quick interchange here. You prove it's your car, and then I pay you. That's it. Send a video of the scratch itself, then of you unlocking the car and opening it. Not trying to be difficult, I'm trying to not get scammed, and if you're the owner, we can settle this easily. If you respond too late, I might be in bed asleep. I will respond to you in the morning. I have a newborn baby, so I need to get some sleep since my kid wakes up often and I'm low on sleep as it is. Not dodging you. I will respond in the morning, if you happen to text me and I'm asleep. I'm currently laying in bed almost asleep, just so you're aware. Look, pal, I don't have time for recordings and pictures. I'm 68 years old. If you don't want to send the payment to our cash app, please send me your information and my insurance company will contact you. Sends link. That's my daughter cash app. Are you serious? Want to call me to discuss? How do I not know you're just a random person? I'm not sending you anything until you can prove to me that you own the car. If you were the owner, why wouldn't you just prove to me that you are, so you can get paid immediately? It's literally a 3-5 to five minute ask. You just said, I'll send video. Then you said, I'm not sending video. You aren't helping your case. I'm a reasonable person. I've told you 5 times now that I will pay you if you just send me this, but your unwillingness to do so is making me think you aren't the owner. If I were in your shoes, I would just send a quick video and prove that it's my car. Then I'd get paid and move on with my life. I've already returned home and came inside the house. I sent you two pictures, one in the parking garage and then another one in the parking lot on here, that I took right then. I do not need to keep going back and forth with this. I appreciate your honesty for doing that, but if we cannot solve it here, my insurance will contact you. No, it's not because of that. I tried to take a video and when I tried to send it to you, it said attachment too large to send. And I tried it several times. Each time I would send it, it would say attachment too large. Attachment too large. The picture from parking lot on Mid Rivers is from the internet. I know how to do a Google reverse image search. That isn't a picture you took. It's a picture you found on the internet. Sends pic. Sends another pic. If you want the money, then you can go out and take a video. The pictures aren't enough. I'm Wesley Gray, you jerk! Proof it. That picture was literally uploaded in 2018, and you said you just took it. Sends pic. I'm using talk to text. I'm over the back and forth shit. You seem spooked and sketchy, so I said the picture was took tonight to try to ease your mind to make things a little better. We are done here. Two options and the choice is totally yours. 
I'm not too concerned by it either way. I will have my scratch that you created repaired. We could go the easier route by doing a cash shop, or I can just give your number to my insurance company and they can do it from there. And just to clarify, it was considered a hit and run, whether you left a note for me or not. So you lied to me. Cool, thanks. Send the video and I'll pay you. No questions asked. Don't send it, no payment. If you're the owner, you should have no issue sending it. Also, that picture where you claim to be Wesley Gray? The picture says, picture of my buddy Subaru. So again, not you. I was reasonable from the start here. Go ahead and submit to insurance if you want to. The fact that you won't do one simple task for me proves that you're not who you say you are. The owner would have just done it by now. I purchased it from my buddy. We'll send video in the morning. We'll have my daughter show me how. Got it. We'll keep an eye out for the video in the morning. I'm sorry for checking my boxes here, but I know scams exist. Not trying to get out of it. I am a reasonable person. Have a good night. They just want to see proof. Basic simple proof that the person claiming to own the car actually owns the car, and they're making every excuse in the book to not be able to own up to that. I'm of the belief 100% that if this person sent this guy money through the cash app, they would have been scammed. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.